Yep. <laughs> What's up? Yep. <laughs> Listen. still hasn't noticed us. Musuniriji? <laughs> Moragu? Your support means everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yo. <laughs> it's Kasuka. The other candidate, Ichiba Kasuka, is here. Get cameras on him. There might be another debate. Kasuka. Will you continue yesterday's debate? No, I think Kume-san took enough damage yesterday. I actually came to make peace with him. Why would we ever make peace? Hey, it's hard to talk in front of all these cameras, you know? Want to talk in private? That'll be way better. Let's just hop into your van here. Nice ride, by the way. Okay, okay, give him some space. Kasuga-san. Yeah? Chairman Hoshino's life is in danger. <gasps> the Komijul got an anonymous tip that the Seryu clan is going to be attacked. Chairman Hoshino is the target, and Song Hui said there's something suspicious happening at the Seryu clan. The chairman? Why him? I think we need to put a hold on the Kume and Aoki mission. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> what? Hey, are we done with Kume already? Something's going down. It's urgent. Captain Takabe! Kasuga. You're shot! It was the Omi Alliance. 
About ten of them. One had a gun. They're looking for the Patriarch. They're going to kill him. His office is a ways up from here, right? Yes. Hurry. Please. Finally, you make your entrance. The Omi Alliance! Where's the chairman? Huh. Give the boys a sec. They're still cleaning up. What's that mean? Don't fuck with me, you assholes! You're gonna be some. Well, I'm not that. You killed the chairman? You were late every damn time. Any job I sent you on, the smallest errand. Why, though? Why would you kill the chairman? This will be the end of the E. Jean 3. He was a tired old man who served as the Grey Zone's pillar. And that pillar supported Ijincho. Without him, it'll crumble unless we intervene. The young master agrees. Why are you two like this? Why are you so paranoid? You've already won pretty much everything, and you still had to kill the chairman in cold blood? Why would Ryo Aoki need to do this when he's already on top of the world? What if I told you it was your fault? What? Hey, Ichiban. Ichiban! it is to the young master that he wins this district, but you got in his way. A felon like you suddenly decides to make a run for the seat. He doesn't like being defied. Especially not by the likes of you. Sounds to me like you're scared I could win. <laughs> Are you kidding? Not in a million years. Why else would you need to kill Chairman Hoshino? You know him. He doesn't even like to be inconvenienced. So how do you think he feels about this? Well then why didn't you just kill me? Oh, I would have preferred that. But your campaign has drawn so much attention. 
I guess you could call it a timing issue if you need a reason. So you killed the chairman in my place? Yes. The E-Gene 3 was the machine keeping you on life support. If pulling the trigger on you would make too big of a splash, we figured pulling the plug out of the wall would be the next best thing. Every time I think the young master couldn't sink any lower, he proves me wrong. What the fuck is his problem? What made him turn out to be such a bastard? I'm sure the both of us mean nothing to him. So why would he have to go so far just to crush garbage like me under his foot? What satisfaction do you two get from watching me break? Tell me what any of this is for! <laughs> is Arakawa-san's death your fault too, you fucking coward? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Doesn't really matter now, does it? So we're zero! Something to worry about. Be here last time, didn't you? Yeah, but it was probably just luck. Either that or he wasn't really trying. And you don't know Captain Sawashiro like I do. Holding a weapon really amps him up. Uh, so this is gonna be a tough fight any way you slice it. For sure. I mean, he's a captain under Arakawa the Assassin. So everyone be careful. Got it. Watch me. Huh? You wanna go? Let's go! Right. Hmm? What kind of move was that? A way more powerful one than I thought. It's based on a Western martial art. Since when do you know martial arts, dude? Since always. 
The reason I fought with an umbrella was because I got the idea from an old martial arts book. And is the captain using the same fighting style right now? Yeah. Actually, watching him is really teaching me a lot that I didn't understand in the book. Damn. How many different martial arts does the captain know? Well, I think we're about to find out. <sighs> Makes me feel like a wimp. Well... Get a lie! The fury of nature! Watch me. Take this! You're gonna be in a world! Okay. Right. Try this on your side! Let's do this together! Let's go! I'm ready Initiate it! Let's go! Let's go! Get a lie. Come on now! I'm not that bad. <laughs> well, I got this! Oh yeah? Huh? You're in it now! Endless love! <laughs> We'll fight to the end. Let's go get cocky. Check this out. Eyes on. I'm with you. It's all there you go. Cool. You're gonna check this out. You're in for it. I'm up. Take this! The fury of nature! Not like there was anything normal about this to begin with. Man, this guy is savage as hell. Yeah, he's pulling out all the stops. You've got to stay on your toes, everyone. Let's go. Well. Oh, thunder! You're gonna be in a world. You want to go? go. I got this. Side. I love you guys. Don't get caught. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Let's go. It's go time. Watch go. Me. Take this. The fury of nature. <laughs> Too easy, I'm afraid. <laughs> Captain, what the hell have you become? The Soashiro I knew would never just blindly follow orders. Not even the young masters. There's no excuse in the world that could justify killing Arakawa-san! Yes, there is. To me, the young master's orders are law. My life's purpose is to protect him. My life's purpose was to protect Arakawa-san! I know that. I know that all too well. Captain. And just so you know, I didn't kill Arakawa-san. I thought the young master ordered you to, because of me! 
He did order me to. What? But that was the only time I ever disobeyed one of his orders. I couldn't kill Masumi Arakawa. I can't explain it, but even as low as I've fallen, that was the one order I couldn't follow. How could I? Because you couldn't put aside your respect for Arakawa-san. Well, you think a Yakuza can't take out his own patriarch? No. That wasn't it. No. The real reason was... And I've never told this to anyone. Not even the young master. So why are you telling me? Just listen. The first time I saw Masumi Arakawa was only a short while before I swore my oath to him. I was 15. Just a dumb kid with no direction, no future. Back when I was getting into fights on the streets of Kamurocho, I had no money. All I had waiting for me at home was my drunk father's fists. The only people I could trust were the other guys who also had nothing. My girl was... Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Anyway, we shacked up and played house, even though we didn't really think it would last. By the time she told me she was pregnant with our child, it was too late for an abortion. What are we gonna do? We can't raise a kid. There's no way in hell. All we could do was pray she'd have a miscarriage. We just ignored her growing stomach, going about life pretending it wasn't there. No hospital visits or anything like that. But of course, you can't ignore an actual baby. She ended up giving birth in a department store bathroom, all on her own. I was working at the time, laying asphalt, as I recall. What now? Just pretend it didn't happen. Brush it under the rug. That's what you do with secrets. That's how we dealt with stuff our whole lives. Who was there to teach us any other way? No one. Which is why... going to hell, aren't we? I know it. Why are you saying that? Nothing happened, okay? It's chilly out. Let's go home. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I'm going back. Are you serious? It's over. Just forget about it. Stop! We took care of it! Let me go! Fuck! What? Damn it! Open your piece of shit! Open! That's the locker we... Does he know? Why else would he try to open it? Did he hear the baby in there? He had to, right? This... This is my child. Well... This might work out. Yeah. yeah, the 
a guy will look after him. I don't understand. This is a gift, right? It's for the best, really. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Oh, damn it! Move! Move! So Arakawa-san took your baby? That means... Shit! That baby was... Masato Arakawa. The young master. The young master... Is your son? The boss told you about that night, didn't he? New Year's Eve. His woman was being chased by the Hikawa family. They decided to hand off the baby using a locker. <sighs> How could they have known that there would be another baby in the same row of lockers? What were the chances? So you see how it happened? Arakawa followed the sound of a baby's cries and pried open the locker. Five years later, the mother of my child was out of my life. But Masumi Arakawa... He was still in Kamurocho. With my son. I... Is that... Huh? That kid... I did some research on the man. Arakawa started his own Yakuza family at a pretty young age, so he was gaining some notoriety already. I found out a lot. Like how the kid in the chair had never been able to walk. Because of severe hypothermia he'd suffered when he was born. Enough, Masato. Why me? Why am I the only one who can't walk? Everyone else can. It's not fair. I heard those words. And I swear they echoed in my head for months. Even if I'd never had a son, the Yakuza path was my fate. It always had been. I've been living my life half-assed for so long. Are you sure you want this? There's no turning back once you've sworn an oath. I'm sure. But suddenly I saw another way. I could swear an oath to Masumi Arakawa. Okay. Then drink. <laughs> Arakawa the Assassin was his nickname then. He didn't fuck around. I get it now. I get why you swore loyalty to Arakawa. It wasn't because he was the legendary Arakawa the Assassin. That's what drew everyone else to Arakawa. But you swore your oath to be near the young master. Does he know any of this? I told you, this is a secret I've never told anyone before. Honestly, I thought I would take it to my grave. And then why did you tell me? Because there's something I want to ask you. Me? Okay, shoot. Didn't you notice there's one crucial detail missing from that locker story? Crucial detail? Use your head. If Arakawa-san took my son out of the locker, then where is his real son? Uh, yeah, good point. The boss said his woman's name was Akane. And... Before he met her, she'd been working at a soap land called Shangri-La. 
Shangri-La? Seriously? That's where I was born. Yes. So take this next part with a grain of salt. But here's my theory. On that night, New Year's Eve, Akane called Arakawa-san to tell him she was being hunted. She knew they'd find her at the maternity ward, so she left. But as soon as she did, she went into labor. She desperately needed to find a place to have her baby, where she wouldn't be found. So I think she may have gone to her old workplace, Shangri-La. And, as you just said, that's where you were born, correct? But that... You're making it sound like I... It can't be. After the boss took the young master out of the locker, I saw another baby. You did? Move! Move! <laughs> Long after all the fuss died down, she and I just stood there. We were shocked. Our doomed child had been saved. And now we had to just move on. I have to admit I felt relieved. But... I couldn't see why a Yakuza had been so desperate to save a baby. Sure, maybe he'd heard it crying. But why the desperation? And he didn't even call for help. It was such a fucking mystery, it gave me a headache. But a few minutes later, I got my answer. Boss, is it one of these? Yes, hurry! Open up every single one that isn't locked. Okay, I'm on it. What are they doing? I don't know. I hope to hell it wasn't this one. He's not here. Oh! Gotcha! Boss! Over here! I found him! You sure it's him? Wait, no. If he's still here... That can only mean the handoff didn't go as planned. Whoa. No way! There was another baby? What should we do? Take him to the police? No. I need to hold on to him for a while, in case Akane comes back for him. You think she's gonna make it? She said her life was in danger. It was at that moment I realized... The other man had taken the wrong baby. Look, the wrong baby. <laughs> After putting you in the locker, Akane-san kept running. Right up until the Hikawa family caught her. I think that while she was on the run, she told someone she could trust about her baby in the locker. Just in case. I didn't recognize the two people that came to pick up the other baby. But if one of them was Jiro Kasuga, your foster father, owner of that soap land, then you're Masumi Arakawa's son. Sh shut up, man. There's no way. But isn't there? A DNA test would be a simple way to find out. Without a test, you'll never know for sure. <gasps> or if you think I'm talking out of my ass, just walk away. Forget I told you. Hell no. You think I'm going to just let you walk away after you killed the Seiryu clan's chairman? And do what you will to me. I had no future then. I have no future now. Why not? 
Ryoaki told me to kill Arakawa, and I refused. He clearly already decided I was disposable when he gave me this hit. Take out a chairman? Aoki wasn't expecting me to come out of this alive. All I am to him now is a third-rate hitman. My success or failure hardly matters. But then... I need you to answer me, Captain. If you didn't kill Arakawa-san, who did? I don't know for sure. But maybe Lieutenant Nishioda. He's the young master's favorite peon now, since Arakawa-san is dead. Arakawa-san's death is on Ishioda, then. Sawashiro. I still can't let you walk away. As much as I'd like to kill you myself, you need to pay for your sins the legit way. Pay for my sins? The legit way? <laughs> That's not the way I've led my life. What's up? I found out who gave us the tip about Chairman Hoshino being in danger. It was Sawashiro himself. What the hell? Why would he give himself away? To venture a guess, I don't think Sawashiro actually wanted to kill the chairman. What? I believe he was hoping you would stop him, Kasuga-san. <gasps> but he couldn't say that outright, because it would have been betraying Aoki. So instead, he leaked his plan to kill Chairman Hoshino, and left his fate in your hands. But that means we failed. We didn't stop him. Shit. You always made such impossible demands of me, Captain. God damn it! Yeah!